Going, folks, this is Wayne now back for another lesson. And by a country mile, this is my favorite Oasis song, uh, Don't Look Back in Anger. Absolutely amazing tune. In fact, I probably want this one played at my funeral. So, if anyone does attend your funeral, make sure they play this song. But uh, it means a lot to me. This song, real sort you know, really hits you there, you know, um, real emotional, lovely, great song. Um, I have already done a version of this, uh, like a capoed up version. I think I did it a couple of years ago that Noel now plays. So if you want to check that one out as well. But this is the proper bona fide Oasis version, okay? So it um, can be played on an electric guitar as well. But uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning. And first of all, for the intro, you're going to want a bar of a C chord. So. Okay, and then we're going to go to an F major 7 with a C bass in. Or you could do, you know, a barred F, but I tend to do, if you take your regular F major 7, we move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string, and the little finger will go on the 3rd fret on the D string. And I'm going to use it throughout this song, if, you know, I know Noel uses this chord a lot, and, if, you know, it's a real sort of fat sounding F chord. Or the other option, like I say, is the, um, obviously the F bar chord. But for the intro, we've got the C. The F major 7 with the C bass in. Again, C. F major 7. Then we go into the verse. We've got C, G. So we're doing the 4 finger G. A minor, E. We've got the F major 7 again. G, C. And then there's a quick A minor, G. Again, C, G. A minor, E. G, C, A minor, G, okay? So I'll sing that through the words just so you can see how the words are going to fit around those chords. So all those, most of those chords are half timing chords. So here we go. So we got slip inside the eye of your mind. Don't you know you might find a better place to play? A minor, G, you said that you'd never be. All the things that you see slowly fade away. Okay, so let me go into the bridge. So this is where we want an F major bar chord. And we're gonna go to an F minor just by taking the second finger off. So it's gonna go, gonna start a revolution from my we go to a C again. Set the brains I had went to my head. That repeats again. Step outside, cause summertime's in blue. And we got a G, stand up beside the fireplace. And then probably the hardest chord in the song, other than the bar chord, we got this A flat, A flat diminished chord, okay? So the first finger is on the third fret, that is on the D string. The third finger is on the fourth fret, that is on the G. Second finger is on the third fret on the B, and the little pinky is on the fourth fret on the top E string, okay? Strange sounding chord. Take that loop from off your face, and we go to an A minor. G, F, and then G. Okay, and it's nice on the G if you said, you know, we saw what I did on the intro. If you, if you just bring your second finger down, put it on the... Second fret on the A string and just put this nice little embellishment in. And then take it off. Okay. Uh, so I'll just sing that bridge through, obviously, with the words so you can see how all that ties together. So here we go. So, start a revolution from my bed. As I said, the brains I had went to my head. Step outside the summertime to blue. Go to the G. Stand up beside the fireplace. Take that look from off your face. You ain't never gonna burn my heart out. 
okay? And the good news is the chorus is exactly the same as the verse. So we got, you know, the, the C, G, A minor, E, F, G, C, A minor, G. So slides away. Took the back in anger, I heard to say. First part, we just go back into the verse chords again. Okay, so that carries on through. We've got another verse, uh, another bridge, you know, the F, the F minor and the C, uh, exactly the same as the first one. We've got another chorus, and then the guitar solo is exactly the same chords as the bridge. So that would be the, the you know, the F, F minor, C, does that three times, and then we've got the G, the A flat diminished, and then the A minor, G. The chorus is exactly the same, but the last chorus is a little bit different. Obviously, you know, it all ties together how the song ends. So I'll just uh, sing that through and show you what, what's going to happen at the end of the song. So it's going to go, So Sally can wait, she knows it's too late, and she's walking on by a minor G. So slides away. We're going to stop on the A minor. Okay, then we're going to go to the F again. We're going to go to, into the F minor. So don't look back in anger. Don't look back in anger. A little stop there. And then we go into a C. I heard you say. C, G, A minor, E. And we got the F again. The F minor. At least not today. And we finish on the C. Okay. So a few embellishments that I do here and there on the C chord I tend to, you know, so I'll just go over the intro. You know, take the second finger off a little bit, you know, throughout the song and on the F. You know, take that off as well. It just adds a little bit more in, so. Okay, so that just leaves us with the strumming pattern. So. so I tend to use one that I use in loads of my songs and you find that it works in sort of most songs. So for the, co the chords that go a whole bar, it's going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. So that would be a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. So that obviously fit in the intro. So in the obviously when we get into the verse, a lot of the chords sort of go half a bar. So it's going to be a down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 down. Okay, so down, down, down. That's most of the chords that go sort of half a bar. Quick turn around, so down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so that's just a basis of sort of carry you through the song. I do sort of improvise a little bit with it, but if you're using that pattern, you know, if you want to sort of spice it up a little bit and you know, rather than just playing it straight, um, that's going to pretty much carry you through the song and sound pretty good. So, uh, that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. Uh, and like I said in the intro, that is probably my favourite Oasis song, and that that's coming from a, you know I'm a huge Oasis fan. There, uh, probably Noel Gallagher was the one that made me sort of pick an acoustic guitar up. You know, really, really sort of inspired me. But uh, we all wish we could write a song like that. You know, it's uh, e even today it's just so sort of you know re relevant. It's a, an amazing song. 
Uh, and like I say, if you want to check the other version out, there's a nice easy capoed up version as well that works quite well on the acoustic. But that was the, you know, the bona fide Oasis version, which uh, if you're in a band, it would also work doing it that way on an electric guitar as well. So uh, like I say, I hope you all dug that. So thanks very much for watching. If you've got any other requests for uh, not just Oasis songs, I've done probably most Oasis songs now, but there's, you know, if there's any that I've missed that should be there, or any other song, you know, 50s to modern day, that you think I should cover on an acoustic guitar, you can either comment in the post below, or a good way to reach me these days on social media, uh, which is in the description, Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, also on Twitter, which I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like anyway, but that way you can send me a personal message, put your request in, and uh, I do always respond to messages, you've got to appreciate it, it might take a while to get around to doing your request, because and I do hemp at them a little bit, but uh, please keep them coming, you know, I get some great requests, and uh, that's what keeps this channel going, so I really do appreciate it. Um, thanks for your support, thanks everyone who's subscribed over the years, and you know, recent subscribers, welcome. Uh, there's well over sort of coming up to 300 lessons now so if you want to you know if you are a big Oasis fan I have covered most of them so if you want to go and you know scroll down and check those out but uh, there's loads there from probably Abba through to Metallica and I'm not kidding so uh, if you are new to me go and check them out so that just leads me to say thanks very much for watching have a great morning day night or whatever it is you're watching and I'll catch you for a lesson very soon Take care.